What if the secret to true wellness isn't in balancing mind and body, but in realising they were never separate to begin with? Carl Jung once said, the split between spirit and nature is the sickness of our time. These words ring true even today. We often see ourselves as divided beings. Our minds and bodies seem separate. This view has shaped our understanding of health for centuries. Traditional perspectives treat the mind and body as distinct entities. They see them as operating independently. This separation has influenced our approach to well-being. It has led to specialised treatments for mental and physical ailments. But this view is incomplete. It fails to recognise the intricate connection between our thoughts and our physical state. The integrated approach offers a different perspective. It sees the mind and body as interconnected parts of a whole. This view recognises that our thoughts affect our physical health. It also acknowledges that our physical state influences our mental well-being. By embracing this integrated approach, we open doors to new possibilities. We can explore more comprehensive ways of healing. We can find balance in our lives. This essay will guide you through the journey of holistic well-being. Jung's words carry deep meaning. They highlight a fundamental issue in our society. The split between spirit and nature refers to our tendency to separate our inner world from our physical existence. This separation creates a disconnect. It prevents us from experiencing life as a unified whole. The sickness of our time, Jung mentions, is not a physical ailment. It's a state of fragmentation. It's the feeling of being disconnected from ourselves and the world around us. This disconnection can lead to various problems. It can cause stress, anxiety and a sense of emptiness. It can make us feel out of sync with our true selves. Jung's quote invites us to heal this split. It encourages us to reconnect with our whole selves. This means acknowledging both our inner world and our physical existence. By understanding Jung's words, we can start our journey towards wholeness. This perspective shift can lead to profound changes in our lives. Traditional views have long separated the mind from the body. This dualistic approach has roots in ancient philosophy. It has influenced our understanding of health for centuries. In this view, mental health and physical health are treated as separate domains. They are often addressed by different specialists. This separation has led to fragmented care. Mental health issues are often treated solely with therapy or medication. Physical ailments are addressed through medical interventions or surgeries. This approach, while sometimes effective, misses the bigger picture. It fails to recognise how our mental state affects our physical health, and vice versa. The integrated approach offers a more comprehensive view. It sees the mind and body as two aspects of a single interconnected system. By adopting an integrated approach, we open ourselves to new possibilities for healing and growth. We can address health issues more comprehensively. This approach leads to more balanced, sustainable health outcomes. The integrated approach is making waves in Western medicine. It's challenging long-held beliefs about health and healing. More doctors are recognising the mind-body connection. They're incorporating holistic practices into their treatments. This shift is leading to more comprehensive care for patients. In hospitals and clinics, we're seeing changes. Mindfulness practices are being introduced alongside traditional treatments. Doctors are considering patients' mental states when addressing physical ailments. This holistic approach is showing promising results. Patients are experiencing better outcomes and faster recoveries. Philosophy too is being influenced by this integrated perspective. Thinkers are revisiting old ideas about the nature of consciousness. 
these changes in medicine and philosophy are reshaping our understanding of health. They're encouraging us to see ourselves as whole beings. Key points of Jung's perspective. Jung's perspective on the mind-body connection is rich with insights. First, he emphasizes the importance of integration. He believes that true well-being comes from unifying all aspects of ourselves. This includes our thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations. When we integrate these elements, we experience a sense of wholeness. Secondly, Jung highlights the role of the unconscious mind. He believes that our unconscious thoughts and feelings greatly influence our physical health. By becoming aware of these hidden aspects, we can better understand and improve our overall well-being. Another key point in Jung's perspective is the concept of individuation. This is the process of becoming our true authentic selves. Jung believes that as we integrate different aspects of our psyche, we move towards wholeness. This journey of self-discovery can have positive effects on both our mental and physical health. Real Life Transformation John's Journey Meet John, a 45-year-old executive living a high-stress life. He was constantly tired, suffered from frequent headaches and had trouble sleeping. John's doctor suggested medication for his symptoms, but John felt there had to be a better way. He decided to explore holistic practices. John started with meditation. He practiced for 15 minutes each morning. At first, it was challenging to quiet his mind, but with time, he found himself feeling calmer throughout the day. He noticed his stress levels decreasing. His headaches became less frequent. Next, John incorporated yoga into his routine. He attended classes twice a week. The physical practice helped him become more aware of his body. He learned to release tension he didn't even know he was holding. John's sleep began to improve. He woke up feeling more refreshed. John also made dietary changes. After six months of these holistic practices, John felt like a new person. John's journey shows the power of an integrated approach to well-being. Holistic Practices for Daily Life Incorporating holistic practices into daily life can be simple and rewarding. Start with mindfulness. Take a few minutes each day to focus on your breath. Notice how your body feels. Observe your thoughts without judgment. This practice can help reduce stress and increase self-awareness. Physical activity is another key aspect of holistic well-being. Find a form of exercise you enjoy. It could be walking, swimming or dancing. Regular movement not only benefits your body, but also improves your mood and mental clarity. Aim for at least 30 minutes of activity most days of the week. Nutrition plays a crucial role in holistic health. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods. Include plenty of fruits, vegetables and whole grains in your diet. Stay hydrated by drinking water throughout the day. Pay attention to how different foods make you feel. This awareness can guide you towards choices that support your overall well-being. Don't forget about rest and relaxation. Make sleep a priority. Overcoming challenges in holistic well-being. Adopting a holistic approach to well-being can come with challenges. One common obstacle is time constraints. Many people feel they're too busy to incorporate new practices. The key is to start small. Begin with just five minutes of meditation or a short walk. Gradually increase the time as you experience benefits. Another challenge is consistency. It's easy to start new habits but harder to maintain them. Create a schedule that works for you. Set reminders if needed. Remember, it's okay if you miss a day. The important thing is to return to your practice without judgment. Skepticism can also be a hurdle. 
you might doubt the effectiveness of holistic practices. Give yourself time to experience the benefits. Keep a journal to track your progress. Note any changes in your physical and mental state. This record can provide motivation and evidence of your improvements. Lastly, you might face resistance from others. Stay committed to your journey. The power of mind-body awareness. Mind-body awareness is a cornerstone of holistic well-being. It involves paying attention to the connection between your thoughts, emotions and physical sensations. This awareness can provide valuable insights into your overall health. It can help you identify patterns and make positive changes. Start by regularly checking in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling emotionally. Are you stressed, calm or somewhere in between? Then observe how these, uh, these emotions manifest in your body. You might notice tension in your shoulders when you're anxious or a lightness in your chest when you're happy. Practice body scans to deepen your awareness. Lie down and mentally scan your body from head to toe. Notice any areas of tension or discomfort. Don't try to change anything, just observe. This practice can help you become more attuned to your body's signals. As you develop mind-body awareness, you'll likely notice how your thoughts affect your physical state. This two-way communication between mind and body is a powerful tool for well-being. Unified self-care. A path to wholeness. Unified self-care is about nurturing all aspects of yourself. It's a holistic approach that recognizes the interconnectedness of your mind, body and spirit. This comprehensive care leads to a deeper sense of wholeness and well-being. It's about creating harmony within yourself. Start by assessing your current self-care practices. Are you tending to your physical needs, your emotional well-being, your spiritual growth? Identify areas that need more attention. Then create a balanced self-care plan. Include activities that nourish each aspect of your being. For physical self-care prioritize sleep, nutrition and exercise. These foundational practices support your overall health. For emotional self-care, engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Don't neglect your spiritual well-being. Remember, unified self-care is about honouring all parts of yourself. Reflecting on the journey to integration. As we near the end of our exploration, take a moment to reflect. Think about your own journey towards holistic well-being. How has your understanding of the mind-body connection changed? What new insights have you gained? Reflection is a powerful tool for integration and growth. Consider the areas of your life where you've noticed the most significant changes. Perhaps you're more aware of how stress affects your body. Or maybe you've discovered new ways to nurture your mental health. Celebrate these insights and the progress you've made. Looking forward, what are your goals for continued integration? How do you want to further develop your holistic well-being? Set intentions for your ongoing journey. Each step you take towards wholeness is valuable and transformative. Your first step towards holistic well-being. Now is the time to take action. Your journey towards holistic well-being begins with a single step. Choose one practice from this essay to incorporate into your daily life. It could be a few minutes of mindfulness, a new exercise, routine or a change in your diet. Start small and be consistent. Remember, this is your unique journey. What works for others might not work for you. Be patient and kind to yourself as you explore. Pay attention to how different practices make you feel. Trust your intuition and adjust your approach as needed. Share your experiences with others. Talk to friends or family about your journey. Consider joining a group or community focused on holistic well-being. 
Sharing can provide support, inspiration and new ideas. It can also help you stay accountable to your goals. With each step you move closer to wholeness and true well-being. Your journey starts now. Share your journey towards holistic well-being in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more insights on integrating mind and body for a healthier, happier you.